afternoon and welcome to today's Physics Bowl practice round. I'm Penny and I'll be your host because apparently I didn't have anything else to do on a Saturday afternoon and isn't that just a little sad? <laughs> Gentlemen, are you ready? Yes. Of course. Fire away. You know, it's none of my business, but isn't a guy who can't speak in front of women gonna hold you back a little? Oh, he'll be okay once the women are mixed into the crowd. He only has a problem when they're one-on-one -on -one and smell nice. Aw, thanks, Raj. It's vanilla oil. I was actually the one who noticed. Okay, let's just start. Okay, the first question is on the topic of optics. What is the shortest light pulse ever produced? Dr. Cooper. And of course, the answer is 130 attoseconds. That is correct. I knew that too. Good for you, sweetie. Okay, next question. What is the quantum mechanical effect used to encode data on hard disk drives? Howard. And of course, the answer is giant magneto resistance. Right. Hey, I buzzed in. And I answered, it's called teamwork. <laughs> Don't you think I should answer the engineering questions? I am an engineer. By that logic, I should answer all the anthropology questions because I'm a mammal. <laughs> Just ask another one. Okay. What artificial satellite has seen glimpses of Einstein's predicted frame dragging? And of course, it's gravity probe B. Sheldon, you have to let somebody else answer. Why? Because it's polite. What do manners have to do with it? This is war. Were the Romans polite when they salted the ground of Carthage to make sure nothing would ever grow again? Leonard, you said I only had to ask questions. <laughs> the objective of the competition is to give correct answers. If I know them, why shouldn't I give them? Some of us might have the correct answers, too. Oh, please, you don't even have a PhD. All right, that's it. Howard, sit down. OK. <laughs> Maybe we should take a little break. Good idea. I need my wrist brace. All this button pushing is aggravating my old Nintendo injury. I agree. What did he say? He compared Sheldon to a disposable feminine cleansing product one might use on a summer's eve. <laughs> and the bag it came in. <laughs> Leonard, excellent. I want to show you something. Can it wait? I need to talk to you. Just look. I've designed the perfect uniforms for our team. The colors are based on Star Trek, the original series. The three of you will wear support red, and I will wear command gold. <laughs> Why do they say AA? Army ants. Isn't that confusing? AA might mean something else to certain people. Why would a physics bowl team be called anodized aluminum? <laughs> no, I meant... Never mind. <laughs> Check it out. I got you a Batman cookie jar. Oh, neat. What's the occasion? Well, you're a friend, and you like Batman and cookies, and you're off the team. <laughs> What? Howard, Raj, and I just had a team meeting. No, you didn't. Yes, we did. I just came from there. OK, I don't know where you just came from, but it couldn't have been a team meeting because I'm on the team and I wasn't there. Ergo, the team did not meet. <laughs> OK, uh, let me try it this way. Uh, I was at a coffee clatch with a couple of friends, and one thing led to another, and it turns out you're off the team. <laughs> Why? Because you're taking all the fun out of it. I'm sorry, is the winner of the physics bowl the team that has the most fun? Okay, let me try it this way. You're annoying and no one wants to play with you anymore. <laughs> I see. Well, at this point, I should inform you that I intend to form my own team and destroy the molecular bonds that bind your very matter together and reduce the resulting particulate chaos to tears. <laughs> Thanks for the heads up. You're welcome. One more thing. Yes? It's on, bitch. 